Brr. Oof. It is too darn cold to do anything out here. Yeah. Let's see. Got some pallet wood I took apart. You know what? I think we should shut this door and make something inside. What do you say? How about a pallet chair? That sounds good. Let's get started. Let's see what we got. Got some pallet wood over there. All right. Oh, get some paper. Let's make a plan. All right. So, a little bit of my coffee. Got a little music on, not too loud because everyone's sleeping. Close the garage door. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want to build? Build an Adirondack chair, you essentially have to build a box for the base. So, you design something as one long leg, another long leg of equal size, come across here, come across. Yeah. So, kind of build something that looks like that. Now, however you do these joints here, 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 and here, it's not super important. I mean, they have to be strong, uh, but you're going to have a lot of material that's going to go on. Then the other pieces you have to make are going to be the pieces that, let's say, your chair from the side is going to look like this. Okay? So you have to have a piece that goes here, like that. So this is the ground. Okay? So, and this is your box. If we could see through it, we would see that we have the, the cross members that go across to there. Okay. If you can picture that, that's that box there, okay? Now this might be seated back a little further. Let's, but you get the point. Okay. Now, you'll need to cut out. You need to have a couple wide pieces. Wider is better for your armrests. They generally do something like this. Like that. Some, something like that. <clears throat> they sit on top of here. And they do about like that. Okay, they sit on top. And then there's a piece that goes across the back, which is really just something like this. And it goes across so that when you put all your pieces here, okay, start to look like a chair a little bit. You put they rest on this piece here, this piece, this cross member that goes across there. They rest on that. And then of course you have to put your pieces that go across, go across there for your seat. And that's your chair. But the big part is this box. And yeah, maybe it's, maybe this should be back here. Something more like that. But I want to measure one of my other chairs and give you an idea of how I build them. But you can design anything you want. You control this angle. So by putting this piece here up higher, or lower, you create this angle. Do you want it to be way back, or do you want it to be a gentle slope, and how, how tall do you want it to be? So, all those factors come into play, but essentially it's a pretty easy build.